All right. Welcome to 520 Sports Talk. I'm Sean. That's Bill. If you've been watching the page, you know we have pretty much the biggest show we've ever had. Huge. Um, you know, the first, well, I don't want to say the first, but, you know, out of the 35 shows that we've done now so far, this is the first time we've had someone fresh off of their championship season right now. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Empire Ravens, the softball team. They just won the state championship, the 3A uh, division up in Tempe. Is it Tempe? Was it, um, it was at ASU's Farrington Stadium. ASU's field, so let's see. Far- it's, uh, Farrington Stadium. Farrington Stadium. So um, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to go ahead and mention a lot of our sponsors here. But for those of you watching right now at home or if you're watching here at Stray Dogs, uh, right here at River and Stone. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to have a few giveaways on the show today for people that are commenting, and we're going to fire up so we can see the comments here in just a minute. So we'll be able to see that really quickly here. Uh, again, we're at Stray Dogs, the corner of River and Stone. If you haven't seen some of the milkshakes that are going around the crowd right now, they're pretty amazing. There's <laughs> two donuts, a Rice Krispie treat, um, chocolate halfway down the glass. It's pretty much dinner and dessert dinner in and one. dessert in one glass um also uh courtesy of stray dogs on june 9th i believe at 5 30 p.m they will be featured on the food network's ginormous foods they made a 17 inch donut i think there's a picture or they actually kind of have a, a demo up there 17 inch donut um that they actually do for birthdays so if you want to have your birthday party here they do a 17 inch donut they do a smaller version too but um the food network june 9th I want to say also a, a huge thank you to our other sponsors, Chris Lawler with Nova Home Loans, loansbylawler.com. If you're looking to purchase or refinance your home, loansbylawler.com. Chris Lawler with Nova Home Loans. Uh, Michas, if you're not here, be having Mexican food at Michas. This is not their logo. Um, say plain white envelope. Yeah, plain white envelope. Plain we are going to be giving envelope. away. We're, the reason I'm holding this up, we're giving away the a $25. Side on the cushion. Yeah, right. Um, but see, as you can see, it's a gift for you. So um, we're giving away a $25 gift certificate to Mecha's, and it's going to be to someone who has the most creative, innovative question through the Facebook feed. So make sure you're watching live. Send the questions through. We'll be reading them off here. I uh, also want to mention air, uh, Oasis Air Conditioning and Heating. Uh, they do have a summer air conditioning tune-up special. T- uh, talk to David Murrieta with Oasis Air Conditioning and Heating. I don't want to give away the price because he's going to give you a discount for being a loyal 5 2 Sports Talk. Yeah, it's a 5 2 0 only discount, so make sure you mention us. Yes, TucsonAList.com. If you're looking for a quality service provider, go to TucsonAList.com. Without uh, this gentleman behind the camera, uh, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things we do. So Andy Taylor with Andy Taylor Media. So uh, he makes us look great. And Z Pizza and Tap Room, uh, our northwest location at La Cañada and Naranja, great um, tap beverages, um, also pizza, salads, a whole bunch of really great stuff. And last but not least, The Rock on Park and Ninth. They have a show tomorrow. It's Icon for Hire with Assuming We Survive. That's tomorrow. Doors open uh, probably 6 o'clock. Show starts at 7. You can get tickets at the Rock Tucson or rocktucson.com. Did park I forget and, anyone? Park, park and Ninth. Ninth, yes. Yeah. So, well, let's get to the reason that we're all here. The Empire Ravens State Championship Softball Team. Lady Ravens. So, we're joined by Coach Shannon Woolridge. And we have Jaden, Kaylee, Noel, and Emma. Did I get that right? All right. Thank you for sitting in order. We appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Makes it easier for us. So, um... We're going to bring up the. I'm sure there's been a million questions already, so we're we're lagging there. So sorry, you know, to the people that have been sending them across already. Um, Coach, why don't you talk to us about what you expected? You know, with who was returning uh, from the team from last season, what your expectations were for this season, how the whole thing played out. Okay. Well, the expectations this year were pretty much the same that they are every year. And um, number one, first and foremost, we expect the girls to to get along and give their best and we feel like if you know the girls are, are working hard and working to realize their potential then we are in store for a lot of success when the end of the season rolls around so it's not like we set out you know we always want to make the playoffs of course we always feel right. like we have good enough players to make the playoffs but it's not like you know we have to win a state championship or we have to make it to the semifinals it's you know it's really about playing your best and playing right. your get together and trying to realize your potential and if we do those things we have a good chance for success 
Give us a little history, Coach, of Empire. When was the school? Uh, when did it begin? Um, how long have you been there? Uh, how many state championships have you won? That type of thing. Well, Empire itself, uh, uh, and by the way, shout out to Raven Nation, because I know that we've Raven got, Nation, uh, <laughs> watching right now, the emojis are emojis flying across the screen so flying. far. That's great. Go. That's great. So <laughs> the, the support of, the support <laughs> of Empire like is fantastic. Emoji. So that's good that, that, that people are watching. But Empire itself has been a school since 2005. Okay. And when Empire first opened, it was known nationwide as the, one of the first high schools to have not have textbooks. They were strictly a laptop school. So wow. that was kind of our claim to fame there for, nice. for a couple of years. Uh, we started varsity sports in our second year. I have been the, the head coach athletic director for the, the past four years, uh, five years as softball coach, four years as athletic director. All right, so what I want to just want to give some time to, to the girls here. Introduce yourself. I mean, we got first names out of the way. <laughs> but um, what year you are in school this year, um, your position on the field. Anybody have a funny middle name or no? <laughs> funny well, middle name. They all have a nickname. <laughs> oh, I have a nickname. Okay. Oh, I was like. They all have a nickname. They all have. Oh, okay. So your name, your nickname, your year and position. Okay. So I'm Jaden. My nickname is Duncan Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, okay. It is? I thought it was Jay Dunk. No, it's, <laughs> oh, it's, okay. it's Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Or, or Glazed Donut, whichever one. <laughs> but, and I'm a, I'm a senior, and I play center field. Center field, all right. Nice. My name's Kaylee. Um, coach calls me Kaylee the Batter Batterham, but people usually call me Butter Chum. That so that's an interesting story, but um, we have time. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, provided it's two minutes or less. Okay. Well, I went to a softball tournament and they announced my name as Butter Chum instead of Batter Ham, and so I've always been Butter Chum after that. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, I'm a senior and I play outfield. My name is Noelle. I'm a senior at Empire. Uh, to Shannon, my nickname is Noelle, 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 but to a lot of the girls, they all call me Mom. Oh, your mom. <laughs> you want to expound on that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm like, I bring muffins to like every lady. Oh, there you and go. And like when they hair ties and whoever needs Advil, I have the Advil. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I've got I got nowhere to go with that think, one. I don't think we've ever had that <laughs> response. And like, during the state game, we had a girl's button fall off, so I was the one who sewed it back on and just like. I, I like get that. the nickname now. Yeah, I totally understand. Now, like, so you actually had needle and thread. Yeah, too? Okay. we went to the hotel. I got the needle and thread. And I was selling it on the bus. That was that was good. <laughs> it was good. And I pitch and play outfield. Pitch and outfield. Okay. My name is Emma Garbett, and my nickname is Garbooty. Garbooty. All right. <laughs> the way my last name is spelled. Fair enough. And I'm a junior at Empire, and I'm the catcher. You are the catcher. All right. So, there's a lot of really <laughs> funny comments and things coming through. Yeah, butter chum. Okay. First question comes through. Thank you to Stephanie Elizabeth. What were your first thoughts going into the championship game? And this was against Uma Catholic, correct? Yeah, you start over here this time. Okay, we'll awesome. reverse it up. Okay, remember to look at the camera. Yeah, so right, right over here. My first thoughts going into the game were, since we had been there before and done it all before, it was just keep doing your job, keep getting it done, and play for the team. Just keep doing your job. Yeah. Um, I think I would be probably the same. Um, it was always for us like one game at a time, so we kind of have a motto of like win five for this past like the playoff run. So, okay. and that was our fifth game, so it was just win this one and we'd have it. I didn't. It was not as much nerves this time around since we've already been there before and right. have done it, and it was it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much agree with what everybody else has been saying. Yeah. <laughs> There really wasn't a lot of pressure on us since we've been there before, and, and there was there was still adrenaline. Like we were still really excited, but we just didn't feel as much pressure, and we just totally rocked it. I have to agree with what everyone else is saying. There, there, there wasn't like there, there wasn't a lot of nerve going into this. Like I didn't have any like nervous j jitters. It was just it was the adrenaline and just the experience of being at that field again and winning it years for my senior being there for uh, my second time and it being my senior year it was quite, it was really special so well let me ask you this gals the bus trip up i mean obviously you want to get your head into the game you know you want to kind of everybody kind of blows off you know stress and nervousness and butterflies in different ways uh what was the atmosphere on the bus ride up to tempe 
It was it was like a normal it was like a normal bus ride. I mean, it was just trying to you know just get our nerves out and jitters, and it just was a normal bus ride for us. We had we had a fun time. We had our managers come. We had uh, some staff come for us. We had our athletic trainer come. So it was it was just a good environment for us on the way up, and it was it was pretty interesting. So we have a couple more questions that have been coming across. So I don't want to ignore a lot of these. My reminder to everyone watching here and everyone watching at home right now. Please share the broadcast as it's live. That way more people will see it. Mr. Uh, Mr. Grassi over there, I see you commenting, so please share it You know, while you're talking right now. So hit the share button. We want to make sure that we see that. So um, Empire Nation, just to give yeah. you kind of uh, put it in this Raven in Nation. Con- Raven Nation, yeah. Empire Nation. Empire just, to put it, just to put it in the context, we had uh, Pueblo softball here last week. We had 1,300 viewers on the show, so let's let's top that number. East side, show them some love. That's all right, I'm so you know, share the share the post, like the page, follow us. Uh, we're also on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube. In fact, yeah, you should be able to watch the show about an hour or two after it's over on YouTube. You can put it on the 60 or 80 inch uh, TV at home instead of watching it on your. Five inch spawn. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't have an 80 inch TV these exactly. days, right? I mean, so, so two other questions here, Coach. I want to um, start with you. Uh, early into the game, down to nothing, right? Are we talking about the Yuma Catholic? Game? Yeah, the Yuma Catholic okay. game. We, we, are, we were down one nothing. One nothing. Okay. <laughs> well, I know like I know it was coming nothing. from behind. I know that they got on the board first. Right. Come mm-hmm. on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. My research was faulty. That's right. <laughs> through all fault of my own. That's right. So, um. When you kind of get in, you know, I know it's a small hole, one nothing. But when you, when you, when they played that first run, what is your strategy with the team to make sure that they don't kind of get down on themselves early and get into an early funk that you can't get out of? You know, quite honestly, there's not a whole lot that's said. There might have been a lot that had been said earlier in the season, or maybe when these girls were younger. But they're so experienced, and they've been in so many big games during their high school and their club careers that. You know, when they get down one or two runs, they know that that's not an insurmountable lead right. because they, in, in fact, uh, earlier in the season, we were down eight to nothing to to Rio Rico, and we came yeah. back and won that game eleven to ten. So, wow. if anything, that that particular game right there gave us the confidence that we would need in the future if we found ourselves right. in a similar situation. The next question came through here: What is it like to win state champs twice in high school? Good question. I guess I'm answering this. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> it's actually pretty amazing. It's like, so, it's, it's like, I keep saying like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we, uh, for us, we were sophomores and Emma was a freshman. And it was the first time Empire was ever winning anything in it before. And so doing it a second time, that's just really going over the top for us. Like, we're really overachieving what our school is and it's really amazing what we've done was there a is there a different feeling the second time around i mean probably for the seniors going out i would imagine it's extra special but um kind of compare the you know, the first championship with the with the one last week um the first championship it was it was amazing like everyone was so excited we were screaming we were jumping around and this time i feel like we took it we kind of just let it sink in. For, it's kind of taking care yeah. of business. Yeah, we just let it sink in, and then we're still really excited about it. I just feel like the first win isn't always the same as the second win. So, so you, you'd been there before. Yeah. So as everyone says, act like you've been yeah. there before. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, So and you had, so it made it easier. Um, I'm going to go down the line. We're going to start over here. Aside from the state championship game, it's a that's an obvious answer. So I'm not going to let you choose that one. What was the highlight of your season? This is where we get down to the tough questions. Yeah, these are the tough. Well, <laughs> from now on, they're going to become more fun. Yeah, because if so, you answer right, you go to the bonus round. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> My favorite game had to be the Rio Rico game when we went down eight to zero. It was like the third inning or something, and. We didn't even, it didn't even like bother us. It was down eight to zero. We knew we could come back and Noel came in to pitch and we did our, all our jobs and we ended up winning that game 11 to 10 off of a walk off right. from one of our slappers. Wow, so it was, really? Yeah. So a walk off single? Yeah, it okay. was pretty amazing. Triple. It was a walk off triple, walk off triple, triple right? Wow. Morgan Perrier. Mm-hmm. No, it was Morgan. Morgan. Emily 
got. Okay, Emily was Mom, on the Mom, you're slacking on this. You're anyway. supposed to know. All of your kids need equal time. But then my second favorite game, if I can give that a quick shout out, was okay. the River Valley game as the semifinals because. My first at bat, I hit a home run, so really, like, I feel like that set the tone for my set game the okay. because I haven't been hitting very well, so it set the tone for my game. And then it was they were the number one seed, so yeah, we really so wanted to go out yeah. there and kill them. So and we, <laughs> did, we did our job, so. <laughs> you did your job. Oh, man. I don't know, like, all the games this year were pretty great, but honestly, my favorite memories from this year were the bus rides to games, hanging out in the hotel rooms with them. I mean... They're like my sisters now, and I can't ever replace them in my life. And <laughs> they're they're just great. And like singing all the way up to Phoenix or whatever bus ride we we're going to, like it was pretty awesome. So those were always my favorite memories. I'd have to say when I went up to bat in the state game in the last inning, because I had a I was in a hitting slump for a long time, and just going up there and hitting two runs in was just an amazing feeling to me and it just really made me feel like I was up on top again. My favorite moment would have had to have been in the River Valley game in center field. I robbed a home run. Oh, and nice. Yeah, nice. And if I love those it, outfielders. It, it, yeah, I've, nice. I've, I've flipped over the fence and I, I robbed a home run and that was probably my biggest highlight. So Do we I, have that on film, Coach? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got it etched in my mind forever. I know that. Play, you know? To everyone, wa- to everyone here, and to everyone watching, if you have video footage of that, send it to the Five Tool yeah, Sports we Talk will page. Put it so on we the can page. put it on the page. Yeah. We'll, have our, we'll have our own top ten. Yeah, that, yeah the Five that, that, that top was, ten. That was probably my favorite moment of the season. So I don't blame you. <laughs> um, so we do have about four to five minutes left with the group here. What I want to request now is not only sharing the page. Oh. Add a kid, Jaden, is what we're getting right here. There's a lot of people sharing the post. We want to fill the screen up with all the emojis now. Yes. So even the flower one, we're going to accept that one. It's sort of new to Facebook. so No hearts. crying, no mad face. Yeah, no crying, no mad face. There's no crying in softball. <laughs> According to Tom Hanks. That's According right. According to that. Um, but, I mean, we already have 25 separate people that have sent emojis across. So, I mean, and that's in the first 12 minutes. So you guys are doing great. Um, Coach, it looks like you have a really great group of girls here. They, they're, you know, handling themselves very well. It looks like the, it, everything's sort of settled down a little bit from the championship, but it's, it's just it's really great to feel all the energy in the room, and, and it's, it's a real special group. So thank you for taking the time. Um, a lot real, of rings just came across right there. Yeah. So. Real quick, girls, uh, seniors, uh, this is to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, your plans for next year as far as where you're going to play, if you know, um, you know what your what your future for yeah. college ball looks like. So I will be playing softball at the University of Great Falls in Montana. Nice. And I plan on majoring in business and minoring in communications. Terrific! All right. All right. I will be playing softball at Gateway Community College. It's up in Phoenix. Yeah. Um, I will be majoring in nursing. All right. So yeah. We might catch you because we uh, we cover Pima, so if they go up there, you come yeah. down here. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see you. Um, next year, I'll be attending University of Puget Sound in Tacoma, Washington. Nice. And nice. I will be majoring in psychology with an emphasis in neuroscience. And also, our fourth senior who couldn't be here tonight, she is uh, enlisting in the Navy. Terrific. Oh, wow. All right. That's awesome. And thank uh, real you quick, all. Yeah. Uh, the University of Puget Sound, I got I got to know what their mascot is. Their mascot? It's a logger. A logger. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I knew. I figured it had to do Yeah, it had to do with trees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go f- yeah. And you'll be majoring as a senior in high school, right? Yes. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Very exciting. <laughs> Did so you sign your senior letter of intent? Yet? Yes, yes. Earlier right. this year, it was pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> right. So, Coach, how many seniors will you have next season? Next year, we're going to have five. Five seniors. So mm-hmm. you had four seniors this year? Four seniors, yep. Uh, mm-hmm. So you'll have five. How many, I mean, aside from, do you have people playing at lower levels that you're bringing up to the team next year? Or does it, is there a, a JV team that Well, plays just on varsity alone, I think we had four freshmen this year. Wow, we had, okay. Uh, what, we have two sophomores, and the rest were juniors and seniors. So, it, you know, in our program, if you're a freshman and you can play and, you, you know, you've got experience, there's a good, a good opportunity for you to make the varsity team. That's great. So last three minutes for the questions for Jaden, Kaylee, Noel, and Emma. So if you have a question or if you want to say something to them, now is the time to do it. So I'll wait for the questions to come through here. So here come the 
non-softball related questions. Oh, okay. Okay, so one more softball related question. Thanks, Bill. Thanks a lot. Um, do any of you play club ball? Yes, we all, all do. Right. Do you all play on the same team or different teams? All different teams. Okay. We, Jaden and I play on the same team as Which of is? like a few weeks ago. Okay. What team is that? It's AZ Cats Gold. Okay. A team U. Okay. I'll get it. Okay. And then. Okay, I play for Team Velocity 18U, coached by Manny Gomez. I play for Impulse Romero 18U. And I play with Emma on Arizona Cats Gold. So. Okay. So we know who the team mom is. Who is the best dancer on the team? Jaden Romero. No. No. <laughs> Emily Perry, for sure. Emily Perry. And is Emily coming? Oh, looks like there may be a couple. Yeah, second one. Second group? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, have to ask Emily, to if dance. you're watching right now, before you can sit down, you're going to be sitting right here. Before you sit down, you're going to have to dance. <laughs> Sorry. Way it goes. We have Pueblo dancing. You get to do it, too. Um, I don't know. What other spirit questions do we have? Oh, softball spirit questions. Um... Is there a, a team practical who's, joker? Yeah, who's the funniest? Mac. Yeah, Mackenzie. <laughs> Mackenzie. Yeah, another senior. The senior. Oh, okay. So we will have no pie in the face here or anything like that or milkshake in the face or something like that. So, all right. Hopefully not. Did all, did all of you have a milkshake? I did. You I did? Is that why you're the most quiet? Because you're just, yeah. you know. I'm, I'm trying to keep the sugar levels down. <laughs> yeah. And I was going to say, you're probably just sitting there, like, vibrating right now. Because that shake is like. Because um, we're here at Stray Dogs. And they are famous for their milkshakes and their 17 inch donuts. They also do a custom mac and cheese. I want to throw it out to James, the manager here at Stray Dogs. Every time we come here, they have a new mac and cheese. If you haven't tried it, it's insane. They do one with green chili, or you can put bacon in there, or you could put buffalo chicken tenders in it. They had one, like, I don't know, three weeks ago when we were here. They basically cut up a hamburger patty and some rustic pizza sauce. I was like, you can't top it. So if you're not eating at one of our other sponsors, Meech's or at at Z Pizza, here, this is the place to be. This is the place to be. Oh, here we go. Um, Who screams the loudest in the dugout? Emily Perry. Emily Perry. Emily Perry. So... And Mac. Combined, they're really, really loud. They're really loud? Yeah. Is it productive like, screaming, or is it like... It's like wild animal screams. Yeah, animal, <laughs> noise. Like animal, animal noise. Animal, animal noise. What yeah. animals? Just Emily, you're going to have to answer all these questions, <laughs> so... I don't even know. Like, they're, like dog. they're just like... <laughs> they're like makeshift noises. Yeah. They're just like totally dog. random. <laughs> Is there a re- coach? Is there a reason behind this, or is this just like a team spirit thing? <laughs> you know what? Our philosophy is we pretty much let the girls be themselves, and you know, as long as they're they're energizing everybody else and they're into the game, we just let them be who they are. So, um, That's a good way to do it. We have a message for Jaden. Way to go, Jaden. Love you, Papa and Pat. Aww. So everyone's watching right now, um, Coach. If there's, if you know, I, I, Coach, I think you're on that one right there. So if there's anything you want to say to Raven Nation um, and to everyone watching here and at home that you think is, is super important before we bring in the next group. Okay. Well, before we bring in the next yeah. group, first of all, I want to thank uh, 520 Sports Talk Radio for, for this opportunity. We will take any opportunity we can to talk about our team and represent our school. Yeah. So we, we really want to thank you for that. Um, in terms of what we want to say to Raven Nation, just in general, This group that won the state championship this year, very, very special group, very, very special group of girls. You know, I didn't get an opportunity to talk about um, my highlight of the season, but my highlight of the season was the season itself. I mean, this season from February until we finished up last week, it it had a little bit of everything. And, you know, the great thing about this group is that they were resilient, they were tough, they persevered, they overcame a lot, and they learned a lot of good life lessons around uh, along the way. And so we are just really super proud of this group and what they were able to accomplish this year. We really appreciate you making the time and coming all the way from from down where you are to join us. I know it's yeah. we're very it's not, it's not an easy guys. trip, and we we appreciate it. So and like um, Sean said, you are the first newly crowned state champions that we've ever had on the show. So. We've had all Americans. We've had you know a lot of teams on the show a year or two after their state championship. But thank you for being the first, and it's it's been a real pleasure. We have another 
two minutes, but during those two minutes, you guys get to do your shout outs. So, I'm going to go ahead and announce to the next group. So, Jaden, is it Lynn? Lynn. Lene, Lene. Emily. I was so close. Emily. You don't go to the bonus Celine. round, though. And Celine. Yeah, there you go. It's a, the penmanship's fine. It was just a Sharpie. It's a Sharpie <laughs> issue. So, um, so Jaden, Lene, Emily, and Celine, you're on deck. And we'll go ahead and start down here with Jaden. So anyone you want to say hi to that's either in the crowd or watching right now or will be watching after the show. I just want to say hi to all my friends and family that couldn't be here today or that are in Illinois. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandpa. Love you. Miss you. And can't wait to see you in seven days. The cord was stuck again. I just want to say hi to my grandparents up in Illinois with my uncle and cousins. And my parents are back there, so hi. <laughs> and I want to say, shout out my friends at Empire. Rock on. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank all of my family in Seattle for watching all my games online and also coming down for the state championship game and surprised me. That was pretty awesome. And I also want to thank all of my friends for coming out to the home games and my family for being my number one support system. I would like to thank my parents who came to every single game and my grandparents that showed up and surprised me as well for the championship game. And also my sister and my brother who showed up to most of the games and my friends that came to all of the home games, so, yeah. I want to I wanna ask really quickly, oh, and all the emojis all are flying the emojis now. Are They're flying. coming through. What's the Wickenburg tie here? Someone, someone in Wickenburg. Oh, so we play a tournament every year in Wickenburg, Arizona, so it's like a four-hour drive for us, and there oh, are yeah. minivans and buses, and um, it's like a small school tournament that we played in for the past four years, and this year we came out as the winners of that tournament as well for the first time and so that was pretty awesome it was another really good part of the season wonderful well ladies thank you so much we're going to bring in the next group right now thank you guys thank, thank you, you very for much. having thank us so thank much you. for coming we appreciate it so Jaden, Lene, Emily and Celine also um, while we're doing the run through here Andy is going to be changing things around in terms of our microphone alignment so what we want to do we want to thank the girls from empire and the reason being is because and it's going to be hard to kind of see this bill if you can hold it up for the camera they signed at the state championship poster for us the cool part about this is that we at 520 we get back to the community around around the holiday season we um gave Two tickets to the Arizona Bowl and a hat and a 520 shirt to a family in need. It's just something that we could do, and we, you know, we really appreciate giving back. We're going to be donating this right here, signed poster, to the Diamond Children's Center down at Banner UMC, and they can give it to whoever they like. They can frame it and put it up, but a nice memento from the state championship team. So, um, so thank you very much for signing the uh, poster here. So now we're going to play some musical chairs because I'm going to figure out who's who. All right. So we have a new group here. So thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank you very much. So we, we know Emily down over there. So why don't we do this? So, Coach, if you want to pick up the microphone, introduce yourself, how long you've been with the team. What position you play. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I'm Coach Candace Tegas, known as K Tigs to these girls. Um, I've been with the team for four years now with Coach Shannon and the rest of the coaches. So, yeah. All right. And then, actually, Coach, you can yeah. keep that one. The, the mic will Got go it. with the girls here. So, um, if you could introduce yourself, your year in school, and position you play on the field. Um, I'm Emily Perry. I'm a junior, and I pitch and play outfield. Oh, and your nickname. My nickname, I have a lot. <laughs> How about your least favorite nickname? Because that's usually the best. I'm just, I'm just kidding. They call me M, Emmy, Peanut Butter, whatever. Oh, peanut I, butter. I turn around either way. But. All right, before before you go, and I, and you you can hold the microphone. We need to see the dance moves. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you got to put on blast. So the uh, <laughs> the show cannot go on until you. It's five seconds. I'm not asking for like a, a full oh, yeah, four minute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, do you dance sitting down? <laughs> yeah, come on. Let's get her to do it. Yeah. Yeah. 
and there it is. We don't break the news, but we definitely we break gotta it. we got to have a whole screen full of emojis on yes. that one. Show your emoji appreciation for peanut butter over here. How did you get the nickname peanut butter? So uh, Coach Shannon wanted me to eat during the games, and so my mom made me buy this huge jar of peanut butter so I would eat it throughout the game with a spoon. So everyone started calling me peanut butter. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Yeah. All right. Introduce yourself. You're in school and what position you play and your nickname. My name is Celine Pacheco, also known as Dynamite. Um, Dynamite. I'm a freshman and I play second base. Freshman and second base. All right. My name is Lene Doty. Um, the coaches call me LD, but everyone else calls me Nene. Um, I'm a freshman and I play third base and outfield. Do you do the Nene or? <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> you know. I have a feeling that is not true. <laughs> but she does not want to dance for the camera, she so the she how can you talks be, how her can way you out of that. that one yeah, out. it's yeah, true. Yeah, how can you top Emily? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, my name is Jaden Romero. I am a junior, and I'm a pitcher and second baseman. And Pitch? my nickname is J-Rome. j Ro. Okay. Yes. There's a joke there, but I'm going to leave it alone right now. <laughs> You already know where I'm going. You guys know where I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to leave it alone. So um, there's a lot of people have been commenting here. A lot of emojis, a lot of clapping hands, you know, one of these <laughs> emojis coming across. So if you have questions for this group of girls here, fire them across right now. We can see them on the monitors here, and we can ask the girls that. Remember, we're going to go through all of the questions and all of the comments. And like I said, we're going to be giving away an Arizona track and field poster. And we're also giving a, a $25 gift card to Mecha's. Um, I got a question for yeah. you, Coach. Yeah. Um, are you the hitting coach? Are you a pitching coach? A position coach? Um, What's your role on the team? Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 and yes. Yes, no. Um, mainly hitting. Okay. So, yeah, but I mean, assistant to Coach Shannon and, you know, whatever we need. So we make a good combo, I think. Right. Now, do you do you concentrate on certain hitters like the power hitters or the slappers? Or? All of them. All of them? Okay. Yep, all of them. All right. uh, next thing, um, Annabelle, AB22, says that she wishes she could be here Aww. and she loves her teammates. We miss you. We love you, baby. <laughs> okay. Here's the next question um, from Steph. Stephanie's on fire with the questions right now. Yes. All right. For you Stephanie's fresh probably going to meet you. Right. Week. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, for you freshmen, how does it feel winning your first championship in your, in your first season? It's pretty crazy. Like, some people, some other teams wish that they could make it to state, and we made it our first year. It's pretty incredible. Um, I'm, I'm like proud of our team like uh, I'm blessed with all the opportunities that I've gotten to have and it's it feels amazing to be able to go to state and win it so I'm proud of all of us so just I'm a YouTube freshman I mean, last year you're in middle school and now you're state champions what do you tell your friends this summer when you're when you're out of school <laughs> You're gonna throw their rings in their face. Yeah, you, is what they're gonna you, do? You go like this? Do you yeah. gloat or? I wouldn't necessarily gloat. It's just maybe if it came up in like a topic, then I would be like, oh yeah, I have a ring. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would say you guys picked the wrong school, but. <laughs> ah, there you go. Nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, we asked the girls before. What aside from the state championship game, and I'm gonna throw another one in there, and all five of you can answer. Aside from the state championship game, and aside from the Rio Rico game, because we've heard that one before. What's been your favorite moment, either in game or during just as season. part of the team during the season? Favorite moment of the whole season? Um, I'm gonna have to say definitely the. Definitely the rides up to the games. Those are really fun. We jam out to music. We get, like, pretty lit and stuff. It's really fun. What's uh, what's the go-to song? Ooh. What's the song that if it comes on, everyone's going nuts? Huh? Oh, yeah. We Run listen. It by Chris Brown or Baby by Justin yeah. Bieber. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> that one, like, totally I, did, yeah. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. I mean, I can understand. Because um, he was, like, 
six and a half when he wrote that song. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a minute, and now he's got more tattoos than I do, and I'm covered in tattoos, but it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> okay. Um, I would say um, the Wickenburg tournament with all the room assignments, and then definitely the bus rides up to the games and the um, playoff games on the rides, rides up there and back. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with both of them because I really enjoyed the bus rides because we got to get to know all the girls better. And Wickenburg was a lot of fun because um, the people that I was roomed with, they actually were a lot quieter than I thought they were going to be. Oh, okay. And <laughs> me being a quiet person, it, it kind of just brought all of our personalities out, and I love that. I liked almost every tournament we've been in. I loved all my rooms. I love spending time with my teammates. They're very interesting. They're very... <laughs> There's probably a story <laughs> behind that, too. As are you. <laughs> yes. They get it from me, I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just really like spending time with my teammates. Um, they're really... We have a really good group. We mix well and... Contrary to the bus rides, when you drive, they're not as fun um, <laughs> with the noise. But um, I think my favorite part is watching them pregame play hacky sack because it is the biggest stress reliever for them. They get in the mode. They just do them. But it is also hilarious because they try to kill each other before the game. So I definitely have to say the hacky sack watching them play is if it did pretty awesome. Any time during the season, did you have to threaten to turn this van around? Oh, every single van ride. Okay. Every single one of them. I will turn this van around right, right now. now. And right you, now. And you know she's multi-talented. Hitting coach, <laughs> assistant coach, van driver. Van driver. <laughs> and professional scolder. Yeah, that's yes. right. I mean, yes. it's probably it's a big van, so you can't turn around and start, you know, yeah. lightly tapping right. people. Because you don't hit. Yeah. But you can, you know, jog oh, someone. Oh, but the look. The, oh, oh, yeah. the look. I well, do you have like a fungal bat? You know, you just kind of hold it up. No, I just got to give him the look. Oh, okay. just, yeah, the stink eye works. Yeah. It's like, I think you learn stink eye when you either become a coach or a parent. Yes. I am a mom of three, so I learned it. So you learned the stink I, eye. I know it. <laughs> as soon as you're, I mean, I have two kids. They're 10 and 12 now. And so as soon as they turn two or three, the stink eye, you, you master it. Yeah. Because they need to know that's not happening. Yeah. So um, I got another question yeah. for the freshmen. Um, what did you What did you gals do uh, in the summer before you enrolled in high school to get yourself ready to be a high school varsity softball player? Um, I actually spent a lot of my time on the field with my club ball team, and we went to Dallas, Texas. We went to nationals, and. I just did a lot of practicing to help me be the ball player that I am today. Going along with what she said, like I traveled with my club team. We were always on the field and traveling all around. And so yeah, we were we were never really we never really had time off to be able to start slacking off. We were always on the field, prepped and ready to go. Now, did you guys know you were going to be on the varsity, or did you have to? You know, you just it was it a tryout type situation? Or? Yeah, we had a tryout. It was a two day tryout. So, all right, so we have questions for the non-freshmen. We have a guest appearance right here. If you want, if you want to introduce right. this gentleman right introduce here. Introduce yourself and what position do you play? <laughs> this is Maddox. Everyone say Maddox, hi to Maddox. Hi, Maddox. <laughs> all right, so here's the question to the non-freshmen. Sorry, I'm going to get to this. Submitted by Felicia Hansen. If you could give any advice to the younger girls coming up next year, what would you say? Um, try hard on and off the field, run on and off the field, have a good attitude. Um, don't necessarily think you don't have a team, or not a team, uh, like a spot on the field already because our freshman, she starts, you know, right off the bat. If our coach really does like you and think you have good chemistry with the team, he will start you and if you just earn your spot. All right, so right here, and then there's a couple more. I don't want to forget some. All right. Um, I would say that, like, you may not, like, start off, like, playing right away and everything, but, like, don't, like, give up on yourself because I feel like 
freshman year was is hard for some people, especially if they don't have like a starting position right. and stuff. So you just kind of like got to keep pushing through it, and then like know that you'll eventually get playing time if you keep working hard sure. and like don't give up and stuff. Want to shout out too to our Illinois viewers. Yes, uh, we thank you for watching Five Two O Sports Talk. So we have in Colorado Springs. And Utah, Hawaii, North Carolina, wow. Ohio, Ohio. Um, oh. So, a couple more. Um, the next group. Four minute warning to the next group. So, it looks like is it Regan or Reagan? Regan, Reagan, uh, Morgan, the other Emily, and is it is it Odalis? Yeah. All right. So um, we have a couple requests for Emily over here. <laughs> we need to hear either sound effects or live or dead animal dead noises. Dead animal calls is what I want. I'll get you back for this, whoever asked. Um, oh, we'll put them on blast, don't worry. <laughs> there may be someone with the last name Butterchum. <laughs> I'm not saying it was here. May it be a relative. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. What kind of noise? Dead, Dead animal noises? Okay. <laughs> Method acting. And scene. <laughs> Alright, so I want it I want it for all the viewers here and for Andy who didn't know I could do this. Look at Andy. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh yeah, he's got headphones on. That probably oh, hurt him a little sorry. bit. That might have hurt. So here we go. Since everyone requested dead animal noises, here's mine. Okay, ready? <laughs> this is true. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, you didn't get it? I got it. Okay, all I right. Just making sure. That was good. All right. Don't give up um, your day job. <laughs> so, is it Peoria, Illinois? Peoria, like I said, um, <laughs> to your dead animal noises. So, Nick's telling his dad to chill. So, <laughs> so, um, so two minute warning right now for the next for group. For the next group. So, Reagan, Odalis, Morgan, Emily, get ready to come on up here. We're gonna shout out to our sponsors one more time during the uh, during the player change. So, also we want to give these guys a uh, chance to say hi to their buddies. On that's there. what I, that's okay. why I was saying. That's okay. the two minute warning. It's thirty right. seconds each, right here. Say hello to whoever you want to say hello to. In the world. Either here or in <laughs> Illinois or um, at home or wherever. Right here. Hey, y'all. I hope you're <laughs> having fun watching this. Uh, I want to thank you for you know, supporting me. I want to thank my parents for always going to every game and putting up with me. and um, My sister for pushing me and always letting me rant to her. Love you guys. Hi, and thank you to all of my family and friends that love and support me, and to all the family that came to the games. And I really love you guys. Thank you. Hey guys, I want to say thank you to my parents for picking me up, driving me to every practice, always being at every game. I want to say thank you to my family members out in California for always supporting me no matter what I wanted to do. And just thank you guys. Um, thank you, uh, Dad, especially, especially pushing me on and off the field, especially with pitching and everything. I wouldn't be where I am without you. And my sister, who's been there for me when I rant and everything like that. My mom, <laughs> of course, when she's able to come to games. And just thank you, everyone, for watching and supporting us. Wonderful. Thank you so much for thank joining you, us. We really appreciate it. Um, to Micah, who asked for where Coach is, uh, Coach was on earlier, so if you missed it, uh, the YouTube, well, the, the video stays on the Facebook page all the time. So if you ladies wouldn't mind, go ahead and tagging in uh, your next person. Um, the video stays on the Facebook nice. page, also on the YouTube page after Andy puts the show up, uploads the show to the, uh, for being on the show, buddy. YouTube page. <laughs> nice round of applause for the girls. Thank you. Uh, the YouTube page. So so um, you can watch afterwards on the big screen. We know most people have a smart TV these days. So. Um, while the next group here of Reagan, no, Dallas, Morgan, Emily, come on down. Sorry come for shouting down. in your ear. Um, You're the next contestant. Yes. So thank you to our sponsors. We have, obviously, Stray Dogs, 
uh, Stray Dogs Grill. Find them on social media. They're River and Stone. Come on down. Enjoy some of their giant, awesome milkshakes and 17-inch donuts and mac and cheese and burgers and everything. It's amazing. I uh, also want to thank you to Oasis Air Conditioning and Heating. Uh, get your AC tuned up. Uh, talk to David Marietta at Oasis Air Conditioning and Heating. He'll give you a special deal for 520 listeners. Loansbylawler.com. Chris Lawler with Nova Home Loans. If you're looking to purchase or refinance your house, loansbylawler.com. Also, we want to thank Z Pizza and Tap Room. Uh, beers on tap, wine on tap, pizza, salad, sandwiches. It's just amazing. TucsonAlist.com. Thank you to Tucson A-List. And if you're looking at a quality service provider, Tucson A-List is the place to go. Uh, additionally, Meach's on 4th Avenue. Uh, fine Mexican food. We'll be giving away the $25 gift card near the end. And to someone who's commenting here on the Facebook broadcast. And The Rock, Park and Ninth. There's a show tomorrow. Doors open at 6. Show starts at 7. Tickets are always super cheap there, so support live music. When we're in the studio, usually Slow Truck or Dirty Magic. We have a couple new bands that we're going to be featuring on upcoming shows. Make sure to check out The Rock. Check out local music and our local sponsors. I mean, you when Sean reads yeah. them off, you don't hear any national sponsors that we have. These are mom and pop businesses. These are local uh, businesses that we like to promote as much as we do the players and the team. So please, uh, you know, go to Meach's, go to the different places, and just support them. Tell them you heard about them on 520 Sports Talk. Chances are they'll probably give you a little bit of something extra yeah. off your bill. Definitely. So we have so many comments coming through, but for the 40-something live viewers that are watching right now, plus the people that are watch later, share the broadcast right now. Click the share button on the lower left portion of your screen. Show the girls some love from uh, Raven Nation. So we have a lot of viewers here, a lot of people just saying, go Ravens. Uh, who's Reagan? Who's Reagan? <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I'm here in the background just taking it all in. Um, Reagan, you're getting a lot of love right now. A lot of love right now. Uh, Megan saying, so proud of you guys. To the rice. So many people saying hi. So make sure to send your questions in right now. Um, Megan says, Reagan is my best friend. So I'm guessing Reagan's right here. So, you know what? Let's just start right over here with Coach. Introduce yourself, how long you've been with the team. Then we're going to pass it along. We'll kind of go down this way. State your name, yeah, your nickname, Michael, so. your year in school, what position you play. Coach, we'll start with you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Coach Pat. I've been with the program now four years. So the coaching staff's been together since that period of that time. So we're very fortunate to be together. So thank you. Um, I'm Emily Shreves and I'm a sophomore. I play shortstop. My nickname is Shrives or Little One. Or Little One. Okay, I, I grew up with that nickname. So. <laughs> um, my name is Morgan Furrier. I am a sophomore. I play right field and my nickname is Little Peaches. Wait, wait, wait see. I didn't nickname? quite hear that. Little Peaches. Little Peaches. You want to explain that? <laughs> so <laughs> I recently turned 16 during the season and we had a game against, the, it was the Rio Rico game actually, and um, my mom posted on Facebook, Little Peaches, because that's like what she used to call me when I was growing up. And so Shannon naturally saw it on Facebook and told the entire team, and that's how it grew. And, yeah. So those, ones, those things you don't live down, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. So, Reagan, just so you know, um, Coach Irv is watching. <laughs> Aww. you got to turn your head a little bit more to the side. Aww. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, I'm Reagan Grassi. Uh, I'm a freshman. I play catcher, first base, and outfield, and my nickname is Ray Ray. Okay, my name is Odalis Garcia Perret. Um, I play shortstop, second, and some outfield, and my nickname is Odali Wally. Odali Wally. <laughs> Who gave you that nickname? Was it pre uh, softball? No, it was okay. Coach Shannon. <laughs> Coach Shannon, do you have yeah. any other nicknames? Not really. Like no, okay. Do any of you guys have a nickname for Coach Shannon? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, here Coach it Shannon. comes right now. <laughs> Don't um, all grab the mic at once yeah. here. Sh Shandog. Shandog, definitely. Shandog. Yeah, Shan the man. Uh, the boss. That's what Buddy used to call him, the boss. Yeah, yeah for sure. 
<laughs> are there any, aside from K Tiggs, who was just up here, are there any other cool nicknames for the coaches? Colonel. Yeah. Colonel. 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 Yeah. Why? Yeah. He's a colonel. <laughs> Why? Are you a colonel? I am a colonel in the United States Army. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. All so right. I'm Coach Colonel. Yeah. Coach <laughs> Colonel. All right. Coach Colonel. So okay. you guys better toe the line. Or yeah. You'll be running, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your least favorite part of practice? Least favorite part of practice? Probably uh, the two laps in the beginning. I mean, you, you, you get right after school and you have to start running. I think that's probably the worst part for me, trying to wake myself up after a long day at school. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Emily. Definitely warm-ups because, especially when it's hot outside, like, you just got out of school, you probably haven't eaten anything since noon. You're hungry, yeah. you're tired, and you just got to go and run two laps and then do a bunch of dynamics. It's it's rough, but it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Yeah. I totally agree with all of them, like, especially getting right after school with all the tests and homework that you have, and then you have to get straight to running and just stretching and more running. <laughs> I would say stretching because, like, it's kind of boring, but <laughs> okay. we know we need it, but, yeah, that's basically so, it. But I agree with all of them. A lot of questions coming across. The first one, first one I have, Coach, this may go to you. Do you guys do the Texas Mile? Do you do guys you have a Texas drill? Mile? Do you do the Texas Mile? We don't call it that, but I guess we do. Okay. Uh, yeah, so how that's done, the girls, we do a different modified version of it, so I... You know, okay. so You're still running stadiums, though. No, no, no. It's, so we we do. Well, they'll do sprints. We do it differently around the field. So we use the field. So they'll do sprints for a, a third of this field, then they got to cool down, then they sprint again. So we do it in a little modified version of it. So we don't okay. have the steps. So it's a right. It's a on field. Okay. Okay. So let's see. I mean, a lot of things have come across here. So I know there's just so much coming across. Okay. The voice of the Ravens, Craig Hansen, says, "Great job, girls, and it was awesome announcing for your games." Um, okay. Oh, next question here from Brendan Morgan. What was it like to catch the final out in the state championship game? Um, it was it was like it was crazy because I like during the quarters and the semis, um, I played left or I played right, Noel played left, and then Jaden Duncan played center, and so. We kind of had this thing where yes, we were winning in the top of the, or the bottom of the seventh inning, but we had to keep ourselves collected. Ten to two is the final. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to keep ourselves collected, and obviously going into the bottom of the seventh inning in the state championship game, it's ten to two, and you or ten to one going in, and you obviously have a good lead. But well, like when the ball was hit, I knew right off the bat. I was like, oh, this is mine. Like this is an easy catch. But I had to keep myself collected because. Yeah. I can't drop it because that would just be terrible, and so, <laughs> and so I had to Even like I was lead. excited because right. I was like, wow, we just won the state championship, but at the same time I have to be collected. So it was, it was good. I, I really enjoyed well, that. Well, I mean, is there like piling on, like you know, you see the, the World <laughs> Series and stuff um, like that? I was a kind of ex- I was yeah. kind of expecting that, but we we really just like grabbed each other and just jumped and like held each other because this was our win. Like we earned that. Right. We earned the title. So nobody got hurt in the pile. No, I, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> Who kept the ball? Uh, I threw it, so I don't know. I oh. actually, I know I didn't throw it. I handed it to Celine, so I don't know where it went. Celine, right, where's the ball? Celine, where's the ball? <laughs> no, we have it. Celine, right. where's the ball? Coach has it. We okay. grabbed it up. We, I, it. I grabbed it up, and okay, I, good. I grabbed you can't, it. Up. You can't lose that. Yeah. It's like one I of those threw my things. glove. That's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nick says, "Reagan, do you miss me?" I don't know. That one is, but um, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, yes. 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 The walk off shot right there. That's Man. right. All right. <laughs> Wow, this is so many things coming through here. So thank you so much for doing all the comments, the emojis. Yeah, uh, the girls appreciate it, and you gals, when you go home and watch this uh, yeah. on YouTube, you're gonna see how much uh, Raven Nation loves you. There's it's just so much coming across. We cannot keep up with all the questions and comments. So thank you, everyone. We can't even ask our own questions. I know, <laughs> way too much stuff going on. We had a whole page of questions. We're on question I know. three. Um, <laughs> so. Um, we have another five minutes with the girls here, and then we got to wrap everything up. So if you have more questions for the girls, um, I don't know. I mean, wh- I mean, what questions do we have that we haven't asked the other girls? We want to be a little bit more creative than just saying, hey, what was your favorite moment during yeah. the season? Well, let me tell you a little something special about this group here. I mean, you may have caught it. I don't know, but you've got two sophomores and two freshmen sitting here. I mean, to have 
the quality and depth we have for this team um, and what Shannon and Candace have we've developed as a program um, the, the, the capability with sitting on the bench would some of these girls would be starting in other teams just the quality um, the roles each have played I'm just very proud of this young group here um, we you know we've we asked the two sophomores to step up they weren't starting at the beginning of the season but they worked themselves they worked hard through the process and they're starting in the state championship game so that's a really a, a lot to say about these two young ladies on the end here well we got two freshmen here who were immediately we you know, had the talent and capability and were asked to come play varsity as a freshman um, so I got to hand it to Shannon every year uh, Empire we're a you know we're a choice school so to get into Empire it's not a guarantee we're just very blessed and fortunate to have the quality and depth of this team and this is the nucleus for the, of, the, of the team coming up in the next few years so aside from the home run stop and catch during the season and by the way we're still looking for video evidence of this oh so we're going like to get said, it on the page I'm sure. that. Yeah. it was the craziest thing I've ever seen so aside from that what was the best play you all from your team that you saw all season uh, Jaden Duncan also threw out a girl at home in the championship game and like I think it was the top or bottom of the seventh and I was like crazy because she ro robbed a home run and like, she can just throw a girl out like she the talent that that girl has is so crazy and I'm so excited to see what she's going to do in college so throwing out at home yeah from the outfield. center field from center, center yeah. Field. Yeah. yeah yeah was it just like, a dart straight yeah into the like, her arm is so strong and when she like oh it's so good it's so good <laughs> <laughs> so we'll make, we're going to make Jane cry, and I'm going to I'm going to be now dad. I have a senior on the team, but I, I will tell you for as a dad and as a coach, as an outfield coach, uh, I'll have to tap my daughter because uh, in the one game we had a shift on. She plays left field, and the, the best hitter I forgot what were we playing uh, Winslow. I forgot who it was when Noel made the sliding catch. Came, that was yes, uh, and so and Noel and the, what is fortunate is that the. The White Mountain teams brought their own radio station with them and videoed wow. oh, it, yeah. all this, and, and well. so, which was interesting to see, and then to watch the game later, the whole watch the whole game again, and my daughter, and I'm just being, being d proud dad here, we shifted to the right, the girl hit it, who's a lefty, hit, slapped it out to the right side, Noel comes flying across, slides and catches the ball, which is, it's great to see, but she wasn't playing softball in, in January, so she had an ACL injury, so she was out wow. for quite a while. So it was I a proud, proud that. papa. Yeah. No, that's incredible. That is incredible. And, you know, the support that you guys get from all your family members out here, your friends, is just, you know, it's just we are honored. We're the ones that are honored to have you guys. So, um, you know, I'm going to go home. Sean's going to go home. Andy will go home. We're going to watch this again. Yeah. You know, we're going to see if we're getting a little goofy or something. But, you know, we want to see, you know, we want to take it in from not working to listening to you gals and all the memories that you have, all the highlights of your season, your camaraderie with the different your different teammates. Uh, like one of your teammates says, you guys are all sisters. That's terrific. You know, Sean and I both played sports uh, growing up through high school, college. So, you know, we can appreciate what you went through. I won a state championship my senior year in high school. So, you know, I know the feeling. But with you guys being underclassmen, I want to hear one word from you, and I want to hear the word repeat. Yes. Okay. So we have a lot more. We only have a couple of minutes left, so what we're going to do, we're going to get one more question in, and then you're going to get your 30 seconds over here to say hey to whoever you want to, and then we're going to have to cut out for the week. But, Emily, let's hear about the time where you jumped in the air to get the out at second. Okay, um, well, during that game, I got to give it to my catcher. Um, we have a pretty good relationship, Emma. Uh, she knew she threw it a little high, and uh -oh. <laughs> I was just a tad worried. Um, but as soon as I saw it coming, I knew just to, like, get up in the air, get in front of the bag, and get the tag down as soon as possible. I wasn't really too worried about the high th throw because I'm actually a basketball player also. And so I'm not worried about um, a high throw or a high ball at all. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We, we really appreciate it, Coach. Coach Colonel. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank well, we, you very much. Um, again, everyone here, if we can get a big round of applause for the ladies here, the Ravens. <laughs> uh, 
three A state champions in softball from Empire Raven Nation. Thank you so much for joining us. You guys turn out in great numbers. We appreciate it. Um, so we have a couple things to give away. So, um, uh, what's that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's why I get the my big money. My bad. <laughs> my bad. So if you want to pass this down, you guys get your time right here, and I'm gonna go through some of these comments and make the critical decision as to who gets some prizes so go ahead honey take it take it away i just want to say thank you to my parents for always supporting me and going to all my games also to my family for also supporting me throughout this entire season uh my friends at empire and also my best friend elena for getting me into this position also um i want to thank all my friends and family who supported me since day one i've been playing softball since i was three and i plan to play it through college and um, all my friends that are watching, and my dad, I know he's probably commenting like crazy because he's in Colorado for work. So I want to say hi, and I love you guys, and thank you. Um, I want to thank my friends and family that's been supporting me, um, especially all my family that's like in different places like California, Texas, Pittsburgh, everywhere. But thank you for going to my games and supporting me. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's watching and that's saying Go Ravens and supporting us since day one and that believed in us. And I want to thank my sisters too that made this happen and that we're having like such a great season. And my family. All right. Right now, you go ahead and set that down if you want to sit here while Bill does a little bit of wrap up from some U of A and Pima and all that stuff. I know uh, Pima Golf stays at 16th right now in the national championship, so supporting Pima Golf. All right. So Bill's going to be looking up some stuff here, and I, Stephanie Elizabeth. Is Stephanie Elizabeth here, or is this someone watching at home? Stephanie Elizabeth. Is that someone at home, or is that someone here? That's someone here? That's Celine's mom. All right. The winner of the Meech's gift certificate goes to Stephanie Elizabeth, who was coming through clutch. <laughs> so, um, there was, you may have to help me out, was there a Felicia? Do I remember a Felicia? Felicia. Is there a Felicia? Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Is Felicia here? No. Felicia's not here. Well, if someone knows Felicia, she's getting the poster. Okay, thank you. So, thank you to everyone. So, if you're here, you can get your gift card. The uh, poster will go home with whoever belongs to Felicia. <laughs> and thank you very much for sending over the questions here. We've had a consistent viewership for the whole show, which is a credit to the team. So, Bill's going to cover, a, like, three minutes of U of A because we're keeping Andy away from his really busy stuff, and we thank him for hanging with us. So. That's right. Okay, so this weekend, if you have nothing to do, which there's so much to do in Tucson. so I can't tell if you're being serious or not with that. <laughs> make sure you go down to Hill and Brand Stadium. The uh, Wild Lady Wildcats softball team is the number two ranked team in the whole nation. Uh, as long as they stay alive, we will be not only holding the regional, but also the super regional. Uh, we got St. Francis University, South Carolina Gamecocks. I got a team from next door, the New Mexico State Aggies. And, of course, the Arizona Wildcat ladies. So if you want to watch some good softball, some of the best softball in the nation, go down to Hillenbrand Stadium. It's very reasonable ticket prices. Uh, you'll see probably me and Sean down there uh, walking the, uh, the sidelines, I guess you'd say, behind the dugouts. Yeah. And, and uh, come and say hi to us if you, if you happen to see us. But check it out. Support Wildcat softball. Um, you'll probably see these girls here in you'll just see a few those years, girls there so, I'm sure yeah. too so uh, check it out the uh, baseball yeah, guys may maybe you know baseball guys are <laughs> off this weekend uh, they'll be back at the end of the month uh, back at the high C uh, our own Lori um, Burkhart. Burkhart Henry Burkhart <laughs> Lori Henry will uh, <laughs> she, be she does the coverage for us she does a phenomenal job if you've ever written if you've ever read her articles it's like you're at the game I mean she she's very good with her words she does a good job, but she also gives you inning by inning uh, highlights. And if you can't see the game, if it's not on Pac-12 Network or something, you can actually follow the game on Twitter 
on the 520 Sports Talk Twitter page. Yes. Coach, you look like you're ready to say something. Well, I actually want to compliment you you gentlemen. Uh, you made it very special for our girls. Uh, I want to. We really want, as the coaching staff and, and also the administration, uh, our principal, Matt Donaldson, to say thank you to 520 Sports Talk. Uh, here, having it straight, dogs, we're going to be back. And it's been a very special Great. moment for us. Uh, you know, this is our second championship in three years, but something like this will go down in memory. The girls had a fantastic, and we just want to say thank you. You are more than welcome. Yeah, it's our pleasure. Wait, when you have a team like this, it's a, I mean, you guys are a, a really classy organization, and we really appreciate the time that you spent with us. Um, you and make uh, it easy, and then next season when you repeat, we'll have you back again. So. Yeah, and we may be even out there filming your game, but I, I, yeah. have a, I do have a message for uh, the Raven Athletic uh, teams. Is, uh, you football guys get ready because we want to film you. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, yeah, we'll definitely make sure we want to cover sports on the east side. We have a lot of east side listeners. We'll have you there. Um, depending on what the rules are with, you know, if we can live stream the games and stuff like that, we'll, we'll try and do that as much as we can um, with respecting the school and the district and everything like that. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, we are reaching out to a few state champion baseball teams for next week, but we're going to have another great guest, another great location, another great show. Thank you to our sponsors again. Thank you so much to Andy Taylor of Andy Taylor Media for making us look so good. Um, he put, he glues his beard on for me every right. time before the show. Um, also, at the end of the month, uh, we will be back up at our other home, Z Pizza and Tap Room up in yes. Oro Valley and La Cunada and Naranja. We are actually going to have three very, very athletic, very talented lady bodybuilders. So that would be yes. a show you definitely want to come and check out. Yes. The Pizza, Gourmet Pizza, 12 Taps, soft drinks, adult drinks, whatever you want. So, again, thank you so much. We will see you next week for Bill. I'm Sean. That's Andy. This has been Raven Nation and Raven Softball. We'll see you next week on 520 Sports Talk. Take care. We are out. Very good job.